is up guys it's the scripting legend here and today i'm back in another roblox scripting video and today i'm excited to start a new series on how to make a simulator game so let's get right into the video so go ahead and open up a new base plate and we're gonna get started right away so the first thing you want to do is insert a leader stat script. So inside a service script service, you can insert a script and you can name it to leader stats. All right. So now we can do game dot players dot player added colon connect function player. We'll do a local stats is equal to instance dot new folder comma player we'll do stats dot name is equal to um speech marks and then inside of them leader stats all right guys so this is very important that you have to spell it exactly like this no capitals it has to be exactly like this or else this won't work. Alright, so now let's drop two lines and we'll do local strength is equal to instance dot new um, number value comma stats. We'll do strength dot name is equal to strength strength and we'll do strength, strength, strength dot value is equal to zero. Drop another two lines, we'll do local, local coins is equal to instance dot new uh, number value comma, comma stats. We'll do uh, coins dot name is equal to coins coins and we'll do coins dot value is equal to zero. All right. So now that we have that done, um, we can go into our starter pack. Actually, now into the workspace. Insert a part. We'll make it a cylinder. Alright, so now we have our like handle here. We'll just drag it up a little. You can duplicate it, drag it to the end, make it a little thicker. Alright, go like that. Gonna be making a weight a little weight tool here. So we'll just make this black. Duplicate it. it go here. Let's make it a little bigger. Okay, a little bigger actually. All right, there we go. And we can duplicate this one. Can have it like that. And um, we can actually drag this in a little. Then we can make this this one a little like skinnier and not as long. And we can stick it through a little. That it looks more like a weight. All right, now we can duplicate this weight here. Duplicate it and drag it across to the other side. Alright. Now just poke this through a little. Alright, so here's our weight tool. So click on this from the gray cylinder in the middle here and um, rename it to handle. Now grab all the other parts and just drag them inside of the handle. And now I'm going to use my weld plugin, so I'm going to grab all of these and weld them all. Um, create weld profile. 
Alright, there we go. Now I'm going to insert a tool into the workspace. I'm going to drag the handle inside of the tool. I'm going to rename the tool to weight. And then, um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to use my plugin, the tool grip editor. So that we can just edit where it will be in the player's hand. So this is how it will look in the player's hand. It's quite big. Um, let's just scale it a little. Alright, and now let's go back on the tool grip editor. Oops. Alright, here. Alright, so that looks a lot better. Alrighty. Alright, so um, now what we can do is we can make an animation. Um, so I already have an animation made. Um, so I'm not gonna make it again. I'm just gonna actually, you know, what? I'll I'll make it again. So let's not the best animator, but let's go ahead and insert a R15 block rig. Just put them on the ground. And um, now go over to your plugins and um, the animation editor. Now click on the dome. You can just rename this. I mean, name the animation name to lift weight. All right, and now um, you can just start animating it. So we can just go like that. Like this. Um, then drag that. Up like that, like that. Okay. Up a little more. All right. Let's see. Hold on. Let's drag this away a little. Alright, but this, um, this can't be the starting, um, keyframe. We're going to see this. So, um, we're going to make the starting one look like, um, just like, well, the starting one is going to be like this. That's how it actually looks, so. Alright, so here's our lifting animation. Let's just put on a loop and we'll see. Alright, it doesn't look too bad. So now we can click on these three dots. Um, oh, I know you probably can't see the animation thing I'm doing because, um, uh, you can't see the window on the recording, I don't think. So, but right next to where it says the name on, like, the top left, like, so it should say lift weight, if you named that to lift weight, there should be three dots, like, on the right of that, and when you click it, a new window should appear, and should have load, like, faded out, and then save, save as, import, and export. And then under export, there's create new and set animation priority. Oh! You're gonna want to click on export, then have the title to. I'll just keep it a lift weight, and then just hit submit when you're happy with that. Um, now just copy the um, copy the numbers here. Okay, and then hit close. Alright, so now. You, um, when you click on that, it should take you here. Alright. Then you can copy those and go right back. Alright, so, um, now we can just set that with the animation editor and delete the dummy. And, um, we'll do some animating later on. Um, so, uh, just like insert a script into the workspace and just rename this to animations. Then just add a comment and paste in the numbers. We'll be doing stuff with that later on, probably in a different video. 
Alright, but now what we're gonna do is we can drag the tool into the starter pack and um, inside of it we can insert a local script and we can um, name this to um, add strength okay then we'll do um, we'll insert a, uh, a a script into the server script service we'll rename this to um, add strength event script and now inside of replicated storage we'll insert a remote event and rename it to add strength event add strength event all right so now inside the add strength event script we'll do um local event equals to game dot replicated storage dot add strength event and we'll do event dot on server event colon connect function uh, player then we'll do player dot leader stats dot strength dot value is equal to player dot leader stats dot strength dot value plus one so then here in the add strength on um, local script inside of the weight we'll do local event is equal to game dot replicated storage dot add strength event now we'll do script dot parent dot activated Colon connect function. Then we'll do um we'll do event colon fire server. All right. So now let's go ahead and play this. We, as you see in our leader sets, we have strength and um, coins. So now, if we click, now we have one strength, and you can see that we can cl keep clicking as fast as we want, and um, nothing will happen. And like we can just keep gaining strength. So let's add a cooldown. All right, so we'll do um, we'll do event clone fire server, and then drop a line. We'll do wait 0.5 actually we'll do wait one so every second you will be able to gain more strength and then um we'll do game passes later on in like a different tutorial like with like a two times lifting speed all right this is still too fast so we'll make it a two second cooldown Whoops, actually that's not what it is. So we have to, um, we can put it back to a weight one, see how this looks, but then we'll have to drop a line. Actually before the, the weight one, we're gonna have to do script.disabled is equal to true. And then some script.disabled is equal to false after the weight one. All right, so now let's check this out. That was my bad guy, sorry. Alright, so now we can actually gain every second. See, I am clicking my mouse, like, really fast, and it's not gaining strength every, like, every time I click, because I'm clicking in faster than a second. Alright, so, yeah. Um, so now, what we can do is we can make a little cell area. So let's just insert a cylinder into the workspace and we can go and then we can rotate it so that we can stand it up. We can make it like this, scale it like that. All right, and now we can make this to lime green and material to neon. All right, and then um, we can actually make this slime green a little darker so it's not as bright. 
and actually give it some transparency. All right, so here it is. This um, we can rename this to cell part, right? And um, now we can insert. Um, yeah, we can try this. We can insert a script into this. Actually, no. Let's just delete that script and I'm um, going to replicate the storage and insert a remote event and we'll call it cell event and then we'll um, insert a script into service script service we'll name it to cell event script and then we'll do um, local event event is equal to game dot replicate storage dot cell event then we'll do event dot on server event phone connect function player then we'll do um to player dot leader here we'll do local selling is equal to um, um we'll do player dot leader stats dot strength then we'll do um player dot leader stats dot coins dot value is equal to player dot leader stats dot coins dot value plus selling dot value then we'll do selling dot value is equal to zero all right so now inside of um the starter gui just insert a local script and we'll name it to sell and then we'll do local event is equal to game dot replicate storage dot cell event then we'll do if um we'll do game dot workspace dot cell part dot touched colon connect connect function all right and then we'll do event colon fire server all right so now let's just to cell you can hit play And here we are, if we go here, we shouldn't get any coins. All right, good. Now if we um, get some strength, get like up to 10. All right, we're at eight, nine, and 10. And now if we go, now we have zero strength and 10 coins. All right, guys, well, that's going to be it for today's video. If this, if you enjoyed and this helped you out, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, uh, join the group below for any ideas, thoughts, and comments, and um, turn on notifications so you never miss out on a brand new video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.